Local leaders want to know how can they best prepare Robbins Air Force Base if another round of BRAC hits. Officials with the 21st Century Partnership held their quarterly meeting this morning. Retired General Charles Stenner, the president and CEO of the advocacy group, says working with the base to understand what happened during the last base realignment and closure will put the base in a better position should closures happen again. That's a $2.9 billion economic engine. 74 of the counties of the 159 counties in Georgia have some income coming from Robbins Air Force Base, and it would be devastating if this installation closed. Stenner, along with newly appointed board chairman Ron Brooks, are hoping to keep as many jobs at the base as possible. They'll look at studies at other installations around the country to see what worked and what caused other bases to close.